I'm Sarah Hashimaris for the Los Angeles Times. A series of car bombings rocked Shiite-dominated areas in southern and central Iraq Monday. At least 22 people died from the car bombs, both of which exploded near markets as fears of civil war continue to mount. Elsewhere on the global front, the owner of the building that collapsed and killed at least 370 people in Bangladesh this week was arrested near the Indian border, reportedly trying to flee the country. Around 800 people are still missing as rescuers work against the clock in what is being called the nation's worst garment industry disaster. Syria's Prime Minister Wael al-Halki survived a bomb attack that targeted his convoy in Damascus in the latest attack against an official in President Bashar Assad's government. No official word yet on how many people were injured or may have been killed in the attack. Stay with us for more global headlines on LATimes.com and on Twitter at LATimes.